Hey guys, this is Troy from Country Wood Products. Uh, look what I brought home. I got a, it's not a heavy, heavy duty trailer, but I've got a trailer to help haul firewood and my matrines and equipment. And um, the, the axle's rated for 3,500 pounds. The trailer's rated for 2,000 pounds. Now, my truck's capacity is about 5,000 for towing. So with a load in the truck and a load in the trailer, that's as far as I'm pushing it anyway. So I don't need a massive, gigantic, heavy-duty trailer for what I'm doing yet. Now, I got a discount on this because uh, there were some flaws. I got a really deal, good deal I was happy with. The um, ball is all, the hitch is all rusty there. They must beat these up in shipping. Other than that, the the deck is brand new uh treated lumber which is good and there was some superficial rust in the corners here where the welds were pretty rugged welds too i have to say that's um not very impressive welding but there's uh and, and they didn't even clean up i'm pretty sure that's over splatter but yeah, so it'll need some spraying, brand new out of the store, that will need some touching up to keep it going well. And I also knew there was a pinched wire, which blew my taillights in my truck right away. But I wasn't upset because I got a, a decent price on it, knowing that there might have been a issue with the lights. But I also went and got a box from Home Depot to carry my gear in. And uh, I'm going to put a frame under that to support it better, a wood frame. And I'm also going to, hopefully at today, I don't know if I have time, rain is coming. But I want to put boards across the sides in here in these gaps to stop uh, firewood from falling out. So I should be able to haul one to two face core depending on if it's wet or dry at a time with this and the the advantage though the big advantage over this compared to i'll show you my little four by eight little trailer which i've used heavily both lights got broke off already this looks really puny in comparison this is a um four by eight and that other one is a five and a half by ten so the advantage is that i'm going to be able to toss in firewood loosely whereas here to get a face cord I had to stand them up one by one on end every single piece and not so much that I'm worried about face cord to the customer because they're racked up before I shipped them out but my problem is I've got to make my trip worth it in the field and to be able to get a full load on here I have to stack those logs up end by end, on end one by one by one long ways and that is really time consuming. So back to the other trailer. This won't haul, uh, well, it'll haul double the weight of that little trailer, actually. It's double the weight rating. But the, uh, the biggest thing is not so much the, the amount of wood is that I can toss it in here loosely. This is much taller, much wider, much longer. And it's gonna save me at least, at least 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes per trip in the field so i can just it, it's going to be amazing that that is a big deal alone so um and then if i have dry wood i can probably put two face cord in here easily without really worrying about being neat and that's going to help on deliveries so major advantages another thing with the drop down uh ramp is going to be incredibly helpful rolling big uh, oak rounds up onto the deck that's going to save me a lot of pain and problems plus now i'll be able to bring my two-wheeled hand truck drop the gate roll the hand truck on and not have to manhandle that or my wagon up on here like i've had to do before and that's that's a lot of heavy lifting and work drop the gate roll everything up on here i need and go and that's going to be a really good advantage of this lift gate that i have here so and then not only that i have a winch i just took it out because it's supposed to rain 
I was working on putting a winch on here, but I can't find a mount in my little small town. So I'm gonna get a, a mount maybe tomorrow. Um, today's a holiday anyway for some places, but I wanna mount the winch here, right on top here. And I've got a 2,500 pound winch. I'm not gonna put a lot of torque or stress on this. There's not a lot of support on this cross member, so I don't wanna rip my trailer up. But the idea is I can, I can cut four foot logs roll them up the ramp with the winch and roll them onto the trailer without hurting myself. So some of those oak logs are pretty pretty thick and heavy and even cutting a 16 inch round can hurt and put some strain on your body. So the advantage of this, this drop gate is now I have a built in ramp, I'll have a winch and push button operation rolling four foot or four and a half whatever, uh, I'll have to do the math how many 16 inches I can get on there. But I'll roll up the rounds onto the trailer all the way to the front and not have to pick them up. Bring them home, roll them off, drop them onto a platform, cut them, and be done. So less time in the field. That's going to be a big, big deal and a benefit with this trailer. And uh, having a closed container on the tongue is going to be helpful as well for carrying my gear and keeping it out of the elements. I don't like my chainsaws and my all my uh, tools and equipment in the rain and, and slop when I'm going back and forth. Anyway, very brief video, something new brought in to uh, Country Wood Products to help with my business. A lot of advantages to this, a lot. But majorly, the, the big thing is being able to just loosely toss the logs on. Until I get a bigger truck, this is going to serve me well and save me a lot of time and trouble. So there it is, guys. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't. Stay tuned for more videos. Talk to you later.